flow sensor cable, those are the, the same exact parameters that are on the baby log. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we've taken now that technology which has been proven since 1988, we've integrated it into the ventilator. So what you're going to be able to do now is to do adult, peds, and most importantly, neo. And in the neo, we're going to measure at the Y, trigger at the Y, and we're going to allow you now to do tidal volumes down to 3 mLs. The difference being, if I go to a ventilator that doesn't measure at the Y, we're simply doing a volume... Tubing compliance yeah. losses. Here is that I can set 3 mLs and guarantee 3 mLs. And I can do it for a few reasons. In that, on the Draeger, we were always measuring minute ventilation leak. There's a function in the ventilator called leak adaptation, with, which works in all patient ranges. So what's happening here is that the ventilator is measuring the leak, but it's also measuring the inspiratory tidal volume and the expiratory tidal volume to guarantee it. So th those are things that we've taken off the baby log and integrated into here. The other thing we've done is that now with the baby with the XL, you can do nasal CPAP because we've done some things to the alarms. We've allowed you to turn off the low minute ventilation alarm so you don't get nuisance alarms in that. We've allowed you to turn the apnea off. So now you can do nasal CPAP, but you can also do this. You could go into the ventilator and you could do mass ventilation or non-invasive. And by doing that, the leak adaptation all works the same. The alarm uh, structures are all the same. So, oh, cool. Yeah. So the basic controls are down here. Correct. And to get out of that, you hit the X. So FIO2, title volume, and story. Frequency, peep. And then uh, to get to your modes. Touch these. OK. Oh, and there's your modes over here. CMV, SIMV, PCV with assist, CPAP support. MMV and the additional for APRV. A APRV and PCV plus. Okay. But here's a key thing is that we built the 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 entire operator's manuals in the ventilator. So if I select here, I'll show you a definition explanation of every mode. I'll show you, for example, even like in APRV, there's two pages of what APRV does and how it operates. The same being said for any time there's an alarm, it always gives me cause and remedy of every alarm that occurs on the ventilator. And that's always that little question mark box. Correct. And simple things like additional settings, because we do automatic tube compensation, mm -hmm. which works in adult, peds, and neo. Apnea ventilation, auto flow. You know what is the the benefit of auto flow? Mm -hmm. So we've we've integrated that into here also. Um, so then it uh, measures your minute volume, your minute volume spontaneous, which is this one, right? Well, here's here's what it measures. Oh, okay. And oh, once again, so you get a, a master list of everything. And there's a custom table. So if I come to your hospital, mm -hmm. I can take your flow sheet and I can design all these parameters to meet your flow sheet. In the same order that In the use same it. order you use, along with the, the measured and the setting. Now, but how did you get there? Just by oh, the values. No, I mean uh, to the uh, tables. Just, is that's the first thing that pops up. Oh, OK. If I go to table one, all of a sudden, these are things, all your pressures, mm -hmm. all your minute ventilations, including leak, inspiratory, expiratory, tidal volume. We measure pressure support tidal volume mm -hmm. so that you can see exactly how much pressure support was delivered for each particular or volume for a pressure support breath. Compliance resistance is measured continually. Rapid shoulder breathing index is You a, don't even have to calculate it. It's, it's done for you. It's measured or you could trend it. Your NIF, your P100s, your auto peeps. This has end title CO2, VDS, VDR, so you can get all those parameters there. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the end tail CO2. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, with going back to data, 
from a trending standpoint, you now can pick from a list of whatever trends you want. So I could say, let's look at uh, minute ventilation. You're going to be able to track the minute ventilation for up to 24 hours. But you could also do this. You could go to your main screen, and I could ask my screen, I want to look at curves and trends. So now I could have whatever parameter here, pressure flow and volume is currently here, and looking at trendings of frequency, XL tidal volume, minute ventilation. Cool. So we basically have made it, Dave, so that from here to here, the user has 100% access mm -hmm. to what they see, where they want to see it. A good Far better than the small screen on oh. the uh, initial v a Vita 2. Yeah. Yeah. Think about like your laptop, your computer, how you put parameters on there, you, you know, your, mm -hmm. your favorites. You yeah. click on them, watch here. You can see this is all blank here. I can go to system setup and go to screen and go to function keys. You can see they're all empty. Oh, so I can put in other functions. I could say, let's say... Quick jumps into those, huh? Day, night. Nebulizer. Uh, O2 suction. If I'm in the NICU, I may want to have inspiratory hold mm -hmm. for x-rays. Um, I could say put my trends in there, or since I'm in NeoFlow, I could have a NeoFlow sensor parameter right on here. So if I wanted to, let's say, darken a screen at night, I darken the screen. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to do a NeoFlow sensor, it would bring up the entire parameters of, of uh, calibration. If I want to do an inspiratory hold, I can do an inspiratory hold. The other thing we've done is, up here on the right, you'll see it's one, two, three. That shows the parameters here. You can have three different sets of values here. So what we said is, we now will let you set up six totally different screens. So let's say I'm in a, a hospital that has multiple care areas. Mm -hmm. I could I could configure the ventilator so that each care area has its own set of parameters. Instead of setting up each time, it's totally set up. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome.